Hey guys, it's Ania Ray, and I am back with a, another seed starting video, this time on Dracaena Draco, otherwise known as a dragon tree. I received about 20 Dracaena Draco seeds from a Etsy seller named Wisco Seeds, and I've never planted Dracaena plants before. I did have one indoor Dracaena tree that I happened to kill, which is not a great I don't know how I did it. Anyway, I did it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, plant and plant heaven. I, please forgive me. Anyway, I am growing two Dracaena seedlings now. And when you get the seeds, they look like little chickpeas. And I had mine for several months before I decided to actually try to plant them. My first attempt was not successful, just FYI. I think I just put it in regular potting mix and that didn't work out. My second attempt, what I did was I soaked my Dracaena seeds for about two to three days, maybe longer. And I also had them on top of a seed heating mat. So essentially I had them in a glass jar on top of a 85 to 90 degree heating mat. So the water temperature was probably around 80 degrees and left them like that for several days. Once I had done that, I put the seeds, some in potting soil and others just in straight coconut coir. I actually left this Dracaena seed for dead. I thought it wasn't going to make it. This behind it is a Dune edgel seed. This is definitely a Dracaena Draco seed living his best life in my what I thought was my dead wasteland of coconut peat. And what happened was it didn't matter what soil I had. Essentially, I believe that the seed has all the nutrients for Dracaena plants. You don't really need to get them anything special. I'm sorry if my light goes in and out. It is a weirdly sunny and then rainy day in Brooklyn today. There isn't really a huge mystery. It just seems like the trick is soaking the seeds for long enough in order to get them to germinate. After I was done soaking the seeds, I potted them about an inch into the soil and or the coconut coir mix. I covered the seeds then and didn't touch them. I think it took about six weeks for them to germinate and I wasn't expecting anything. I, Clearly I was just like, oh, well, who knows? Like these are just some seeds. The seedling doesn't look like much of anything. It's starting to form like a little bulb, bulbous base right here. But I can kind of see the beginning of that like corn flower plant that you see on other Dracaena plants like Lucky Bamboo. So that's exciting. But this guy is probably two, three months old since germinating and is growing fairly quickly. Dracaena Draco plants are native to the Canary Islands. If you've seen a dragon tree up close, that's awesome. I've never seen one very large in person. They tend to like their soil fairly dry, but they can handle their water as well. They're fairly versatile plants. I don't know how I killed mine, so I think what happened is I didn't have proper drainage and I kept watering it, to be honest. So make sure that you have proper drainage when you do eventually pot up your seedlings because they can suffocate if their roots are too wet. Awesome, I hope this video was helpful. Again, this is just my baby Dracaena tree. Eventually, I should be able to just propagate them by stem cuttings instead of worrying about the seeds, right? Which is pretty cool. Thanks, guys.